Oh yeah. This video is gonna be a little darker than usual because it's kind of cloudy outside. Not that y'all really care. Y'all really aren't here for me. Y'all are here for the books. So I am gonna be doing my December TBR in this video. It's gonna be a quick, short little video because I don't have any books planned this month. It's also November 31st for me right now. And as of right now, I have read 100 books or 101. I can't remember what I just finished, but I've reached my reading goal for the year. I have eight books planned, so let's talk about them. I also have my TBR cart right here. I should probably get the books that I plan to read off. Let me get them. Hold on. I am going to be reading a lot of books that are on my physical TBR. So if you guys have watched any recent videos, a lot of these are going to be some repeats. I feel like I've just talked about these books a lot. So bear with me. The first book on my TBR, which I've actually planned to start tomorrow, December 1st. I took the dust jacket off. It is Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. Now, I've already gotten some comments about Jay Kristoff. I am the kind of person who can look at it, an author and their work and differentiate the two. So if, whether Jay Kristoff has any drama, I don't look at it. I look at his work separately and I determine his work based off his work. And we're gonna see how I like it. You know, you guys know, I don't read the back of books. So <laughs> I know this is about a person named Gabriel and in his world, in this world, the sun has not risen for like 20 some years. There is kind of like a daytime and a nighttime, but the daytime, the sun really isn't out. There's like this big, big sheet of, I'm imagining like dust or cover over the sun kind of that has blocked out full sunlight. Vampires kind of, I'm, I think rule the world. I think we're getting a glimpse into Gabriel's life and who he is as a silver saint are people who kill vampires. Not sure if that's correct, but I'm looking forward to it. It's also a big, big old book. <laughs> the next book I plan to read is King of Battle and Blood by Scarlett St. Clair. And I stuttered a little bit there. I'm gonna buddy read this with my friend Sarah. I've heard that it's kind of like A Court of Thorns and Roses. It's about a sold and a vampire named Adrian. <laughs> and Adrian is kind of the king of all vampires and he ends up kind of forcing his way into, I'm pretty sure, marrying Isolde. You have to marry me or I'm gonna kill your whole kingdom kind of thing because Isolde is a princess. So I don't know. Kind of up my alley. Kind of books that I like to read anyway. So kind of excited to read this. The next two books are very, very different, but also kind of buddy reads. Plan on reading Dance of Thieves. I've mentioned Ashley so many times in my videos because I feel like she watches these but she just doesn't tell me because I tell her not to watch my videos because it stresses me out. But Ashley, hopefully we read this this month together, okay? <laughs> I don't know what it's about and I kind of just want to open it and read it and we will figure out what it's about and you guys will see that in my December wrap up. If I like it enough, I'll probably read Vow of Thieves, so. And the next one I want to read with a bookstagram friend. Actually, I met her on bookstagram. I haven't met her, but I've Instagram met her. What do you call that? Like, we're friends through social media, okay? Pack Up the Moon by Kristen Higgins. I want to read with my friend Jane. And I've heard it's very, very sad. I've already talked about this book before because I got it in a vlog and I showed you guys on my TBR video, but this is about a husband and wife who are going through something very terrible. The wife is going through something and she ends up writing writing all of these letters to her husband to kind of give him closure, I guess is a good way to say it without spoiling. Is it like on the back? Oh no, okay. So the wife has a disease and as the disease progresses, she writes more and more letters for her husband. So then when she does pass away, he can read the letters that she wrote him. There's nothing happy about this book. <laughs> there might be a happy overall message. So I'm looking forward to that, but next. Man, my TBR is kind of short because I only have like two more books. These Feathered Flames. I'm a little nervous to start this because I know it's YA. My luck with YA is like misses all the time. There's no hits at all. So I'm a little nervous to start this, but the second one comes out this month and I was like, I own the first one and the second one comes out. So why not? Oh, and the second one, which I looked into, the second one of this book that I already talked about comes out this month also. I don't know if I want to though. That's my problem right now. There was only one reason that power would transfer to Isa now. Isa? Isia? Asa? Isa? No. Asia? Okay. Her mother was dead in a new crane. 
Her mother was dead and a new queen had to be crowned. So I'm pretty sure it's a girl who lost her mother and she has to become queen. The second one is called This Cursed Crown. Very good. And then I think the week of Christmas or the week before I'm going to read in holidays. I plan on doing like a full Christmas reading vlog. Brock and I are traveling for two weeks. I mean, it's not really two weeks. It's 12 days, but still. This book is about a girl named May and she actually gets stuck. It's, it's kind of a cool concept. She gets like stuck in this time loop. She's kind of miserable at her job. She's living with her parents. She's not loving her life. And she went on a trip to Utah in this really pretty cabin and she ends up getting in this like stuck in a time loop. May must figure out how to break free of the strange time loop and finally get her true love under the mistletoe. So it is a romance. <laughs> if I end up reading more than this, I will probably be posting it on my Instagram or go follow my Goodreads. You guys can just see all of the books I'm reading and when I'm reading them. And I will do a wrap up that will come out January 1st. I don't love doing TBR videos because who knows if I actually stick to it. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Bye. That's my spot. All right. <laughs> We're gonna get started, okay?